Hello and welcome back to the Austrian State Challenges. In this episode, we finally got rid of Steiermark and Salzburg, who I don't know much about. And we're going back to, or we're going to a state that I have been to a bit, which is Tyrol. On the map, you can see Tyrol here in this area, as well as Eastern Tyrol, which is over here with Lienz. Tyrol's capital, Innsbruck, is the most famous city, probably, although Kitzbühel to sport fans might be more famous based on the skiing competitions there. Uh, anyone, anything else interesting? You've got Seefeld here again, winter sport, certain two. Quite a lot of uh, towns in Tyrol are known for their winter sport. Got a couple others here. Kufstein is relatively well known, maybe. Uh, maybe Ischgl as well. Nothing too well known, I think, otherwise. You've got the Brenner here, which is, at least in Austria, quite famous because you hear it on the radio all the time because that's one of the main routes into Italy. And, yeah, we'll just get into the game. And, full screen. All right, let's go. Uh, what do we have here? Yeah, Innsbruck is obviously considering that it mostly consists of the Alps. Very mountainous. Most of the cities are in some sort of valley. Innsbruck included. Excuse me. And we'll just have to look around and see where we can find something. What do we have here? Uh, it's just uh, an advertisement for their company. Now, I say I'm more familiar with, with Tyrol. That's not particularly true. I've spent about a week near Innsbruck. And I've traveled around a bit there. So I know the area around Innsbruck rather well. But Viptal, that's the area we're in. Uh, but other than that, I'm not too familiar with it. As you can see, wait, these flags here. Uh, one of these, this one is the flag of Tyrol. Gemeindehaus Schmirn. So Schmirn is probably the city. Viptal is the area. Where we can find that is a different question. Yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look though. Do we have any places maybe with Viptal in its name? Or can we find Schmirn? Those are probably the two options we have. The good thing about Tyrol is that because it's so mountainous. You don't really have many streets that go into the valleys. And therefore you don't have many places where you need to look if you're looking for a town. Now the problem is I don't actually know. I mean, I give Verdug enough credit that he probably realized that. But I don't fully know if he included Eastern Tyrol in it. But I'm going to have a look there either way. Uh, but I can't see Schmirn. No. So we are just going to wait. Let me just quickly search up here too. No. Okay. We're just going to continue then. Maybe not that direction. That doesn't look like we'll find anything. Go back. Not that the other direction looks so much better. But it does look slightly more like an actual road. Um, at the same time, I'm not expecting to find really any more good information here. Okay, that's an, an avalanche training area. I've never heard of that. Interesting. What do we have? That's quite a nice view. Wait, where am I going? This way, probably. Oh, yeah. Don't think we'll find anything else. I'm just going to show you the area, basically. Maybe I should go through this a little bit slower. At the same time, maybe if we actually get down there. We might find some clues still. 
So let's do that instead. I mean, again, that, that is just beautiful. What do we find down here? Which little town is this? Do we have anything here? Not yet. There's a sign. Sankt Yodok? Yodok? Huh. Never heard of that. Do we have any? It says Innsbruck right here, so maybe it's close to there. I mean, I at least think it's probably not in Eastern Tyrol then. Where could it be? Down here, maybe somewhere. I mean, that's the Stubaitar. So, not here. Uh, not up there. Sankt Jodok. Hmm. We've got 14 seconds left, so we're probably not going to find it. Mm. No. Okay, then. Tell me, game, where was it? It was down here. Oh, there it is. I do not see that. There's Schmin. I'm not even sure at this point. I probably even was at this zoom level, I just didn't see it. Okay. But yeah, that makes sense. So probably this this area is called Viptar. I discounted this area because, well, it's not, but two, there are some valleys that go over there. Okay, what else do we have? This looks slightly flatter. Not in the sense of the mountains around aren't high, but in the sense that you've got a bit of a, a wider valley. Salzburg. Okay, so we are around here. There's the 178. Uh, Weidring is here. And it goes south there. Hmm. Which town are we in? We're probably even in Weidring, even if it says towards Weidring there. Now it says one kilometer towards Weidring. Well, I guess that's just down there and maybe we're up here. Do we have any sort of town signs? Höhenstraße, Steinplatte. Do we have that street somewhere? Yeah, we've got Steinplatte here. Hmm. We're somewhere around here. Let me just quickly go west and see what we can find in that direction. Hmm, it looks like a whole bunch of nothing. Just again, as it usually is in Tyrol, mountains on either side. A lot of forests. Is that... Hmm. No, nothing that helps me at the moment. Uh, and I think we're already too far at this point. Uh, what does that say? Freudweg? I don't really think any clues like this will help me a lot. Uh, I think this was where the parking sign was saying, yeah. So we're further up here somewhere. We've got some houses around here. We've got a bus stop here. It might actually be here. If we go further this way, wait, does that... That says something again, but I can't read it. If we go further, Stückelweg. Uh, is that something we've got over here somewhere? St Stückelweg, yeah. And it's this. This is the bus station that we've got. 
and we are yeah somewhat around here slightly further gonna say let's just guess stars yep four meters uh what do we have here more <laughs> like that's that's what's so distinctive about tyrell like you've got mountains everywhere and we're in some valley again although i feel like we're well oh seaford interesting uh down where was it uh wait wasn't that in styria oh it's spielfeld i'm an idiot seaford is up here I confused myself direction wise. The question is, huh? Which road are we on? We're probably on this road. I guess. What do we have around here that could tell us where exactly we are? Trindlsig, it is a restaurant. Mm, can we find that somewhere here? I mean, to be fair, I don't even know. Actually, we're on the we're on the northern part of Seaford. This camp Camp Arpine, Seaford. We saw that right here, oh, didn't we? Here, there you go. Camp Seaford. That's this thing here. So we're up here. Somewhere. Uh, I'm just a bit disappointed. I can't see that restaurant on the map anywhere. Well, whatever. Let's see. What about this little spot? Well, we probably won't see that on the map. What about this? Uh, way further south. Probably. If we go... Well, that's quite a turn, actually. That's safe out. Okay. So this is this. That left turn is this. Then we're through that left turn. We go up here. Yeah. Then we make it to this, where it turns slightly towards the right again, here. How far away is that? Okay, just slightly. So we're up here. I do hope we get some sort of location close to Innsbruck because Innsbruck is a beautiful city. So I'd like to show you around there a bit. <laughs> Game says no. All right, what do we have here? 198. Probably there. Not probably, definitely there. Stiegwart. Where do we have that? Mm, there's Steg. Where's Forchach? Mm. I can't see it. That's actually really close to the, the Faralberg border. And we're going west towards Steg, probably. So we're more on this side of it, is my guess. Do we have a marker like this? Oh, 35 kilometers to Steg. We're quite far away. We're much closer to Reute. And Forchach is here. And are we not in Forchach? It says Forchach is down there. But to be honest, this looks like it should be. It should be for huh? Do we have a sign here that tells us whether it really is? And again, like I can't say this often enough. Mountains towards the east, mountains towards the west. Tyrol, period. Uh, this way also towards Forchach. So I think at this point, Forchach is just this little this little town over here but excluded from the road the road isn't Forchach even though this over here is also clearly Forchach 
So I don't know what's going on there. We're somewhere here. <laughs> I also like that little shack over there. Just in the middle of nowhere. There's a couple of shacks here. Why are there four shacks here? That's fat. Wait, there's more. What is going on? What are these things? Why are there so many of them? By the way, I just saw that thing again. I never really, I can never really tell whether there's something written here. Not that you could read it, but I'd just be interested in that. Oh, what does this say? Ah, goodbye, Lechtal. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're quite a way away, to be honest, so maybe we're even further. Let's go here, let's go here. And guess. Uh, too far. And the last location also isn't in Innsbruck. It's a bit more populous around here. What do we have here? A12, 6 kilometers, Kematen. Mutters. Now that I know where it is. Because that's uh, down here somewhere. There it is. Too far. So we're close. There's Götzens and Birgits. We're close to Innsbruck. Not quite, I think. Uh, should we go? Which way do we go? Uh, let's go this way. Let's see which... Oh, um, okay, let's not go this way then. Let's go this way, apparently. Uh, okay, that's not where I want to go, but sure. If that gets us to town sign, then I'll take it, I guess. Uh, there's no city name on there. It's also quite a nice location in general, though. So I'm happy with that. Not quite Innsbruck, but also very, very nice. Mm, it says Innsbruck right there. This isn't Innsbruck, is it? I mean, it might belong to Innsbruck. Aksams, that's where it is. Uh, now, where is Aksams exactly? Because that's also something I've heard. There it is. Okay, so we're close to Innsbruck. Just just slightly too far to the southwest. Where did, you, where did we start out? Towards the south of the city or town. Mm, any road names around here? Probably. We probably don't even need any though. Might be enough. To just say, uh, we are probably, no, I don't know. We're probably somewhere in Aksam. Uh, Aksam lead zum Olympiastraße. That's something. Uh, where would that be? There it is. Yeah, that's where we are, up here. How far up here? Uh, it makes a bend towards the left even, so up here even. I will go with that. Is there anything we can show off here? Probably not. I mean, I can try to make my way up there, see how far they let me go. Again, I would have found a sign like this much quicker. Ah, oh, you can get a nice view from up here. Is Aksam? What is that down there? That's probably Kematen or Tsil, one of these two down there. Can I see Innsbruck from here? Not really. And let's just make our way further up. Maybe we'll get to a place where we can see Innsbruck from. 
or we'll just see lots of lots and lots of trees. Mm, doesn't look likely. Where did I make it to? Made it up here. Uh, now it's this way up to here. It's unlikely at this point. We're not going to be seeing Innsbruck, unfortunately. That being said, this is probably the closest it might actually be the closest to a place I've been to in the series yet. Because I've been to Mutas. So that's maybe 5 to 10 kilometers. I mean, I've obviously been to St. Purton and I can't remember where we were in episode 1. Somewhere around here. That was 13 kilometers, I think. So if we're closer than that... That might actually be the closest. Yeah, again, lost another five points. Who cares? Lost too many points in the first round anyway. All right. I hope you enjoyed the episode, even if we didn't get to go to Innsbruck. We had um, some nice diversity again. Saw the western part of it, saw the eastern part of it. We didn't get to see eastern Tyrol. It doesn't look that different. There's the biggest uh, mountain in Austria there. On the border between Tyrol and Carinthia. Well, other than that, nothing too special in Eastern Tyrol, I think. Uh, yep. Yeah. See you guys next time.